just want to say to everybody, you know, it's, it's a constant fight for your happiness. Breathe. Breathe, you know. Put your faith in her because we know God is a woman. And I just want to tell you all today, breathe, you know. It's going to be all right. Love. Hey, guys, it's Valley Fever. Welcome back to another video. I guess like a week ago, I made a video about um, PD or Pop Daddy where he said God is a woman and I felt bad about it and I gave a reaction saying that God is not a woman and that PD didn't mean God is a woman. He means when he speaks about God, he means the Baphomet. That's what he was talking about. And as a child of God, whenever someone comes trying to insult God or trying to mock God, you have to come up and stand for who you believe in and stand for your father so i came out as a christian to counteract what he said and you know to bring the light and actually make people to understand that he wasn't referring to god in the heaven he was referring to the baphomet because the baphomet is half man and half woman he's a transgender god and i knew that i would get a lot of mixed feelings you know mixed opinions in the comment section and you know it's been it's been bothering me a lot because you know people come up to me and they be like oh like you're humanizing god or oh, god is a spirit and all this stuff then i'm like do you guys even know the god you're talking about so i feel like doing a reaction video to discuss this topic and to bring up my points or how i feel about god because most of you guys don't even know the god that you claim yourself i'm not perfect i'm not saying that i know too much i'm just saying that please you gotta take time study your god um focus on him create a relationship with him know more about him before you come up arguing on something which you don't even know first thing first we are spirits living in the human body and we were created in the image and the likeness of god that's the first thing we have to know that we have the same image and we have the same likeness of god and we were created to mirror God, we are created to worship God. And I've told you guys that the reason why the devil is fighting against us is because the devil is jealous of the fact that God gave his glory to man because the devil went against God. So the whole God is a man, God is a woman, God is a spirit, it's not our concern, it's his concern because he's a, he's a, because he's a creator. So the Bible says that heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God will never pass away. So in the bible how does god himself how does god refers himself god refers himself as the father our father who sits on his throne in the book of revelations so as a christian you have to think about these things first like don't get messed up with the whole confusion because we live in the world where we have this gender confusion but take it too personal and it's messed up god refers himself as a man that's what he said it doesn't matter about what you think about him a mass of what he thinks about himself because you are limited you are you you are human being you are limited in your reasoning god calls himself what the lion of the tribe of judah what is a lion he calls himself our father he calls himself the mighty man in battle he calls himself a warrior i mean like you have to listen to this thing and think about it for yourself okay when jesus christ came what did he say he said as you have seen me you have seen the father the father looked exactly like me one of the reasons why jesus christ came in the form of a man is because people remember back in the days of um, the israelites they worship gods they worship animals they worship the baal which we now call baphomet they felt that god was a bull like that's that's their own belief people have different belief okay you having your own belief people have them their own belief people think that god is a spirit people think that god is a energy people have different beliefs but it's not about what you think about him it's about what he thinks about himself and how he chose to represent himself if he chose to represent himself in the form of a man that's what he is you can argue about it you can try to to create your own image and think you're perfect in what you've created that's why people are creating idols and god is so angry about it remember you're just a creation you're not the creator the, the creator represents himself in the form of a man and don't forget man and a woman were all the same okay a woman is just having a capability of producing a man that's why we call them a womb man a womb man it's not like there's like some difference. The reason why we have this gender stuff is because we have to create children. That's the purpose of having a different gender. Okay, but we're all the same. We're all mankind. That's why God calls us sons of man. It's messed up when I see people um, arguing about stuff. 
last time I said I had a rapture dream, people said there's no rapture. I'm like, really? Seriously? You guys don't even, you guys don't ask God for the Holy Spirit. You're just reading your Bible blindly. Come on, man. I have one last proof. In the book of Genesis, chapter 18, chapter 18, Abraham was being visited by three men. Three men. He was being visited by three men at Mamre. That was when um, God came in the form of a man with two angels to destroy the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. But he passed through Abraham to visit a Abraham, right? Um, during that conversation where Abraham gave him a reception and they were eating food, God spoke out. He said, your wife Sarah will have a child next year. Even though the Bible says that one of the men spoke out that Sarah will have a child next year, I know that he was God. Sarah stood at the back and laughed. And God was sitting right there and God knew that Sarah laughed. And he asked Abraham, why is your wife laughing in doubt? Okay, um, come on guys, like you guys have to use the Holy Spirit. There's no point reading the Holy Book of God, written by the Holy Spirit. And you're not even using the Holy Spirit to understand the Bible. You're using your, people are using their own minds. And when you bring out the, 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 the truth, they try to argue with you. That was how the Pharisees did. They read the Bible completely empty. They had no knowledge. They had no reasoning. Come on guys, like at the end of the day, what happened? From verse 17, uh, chapter 18, it says what? The Lord said to himself, the Lord said to himself, should I now tell Abraham what I'm going to do? Abraham will become a great and powerful nation and all the nations of the earth will bless through him. Okay, I've made a special agreement with him. That was God speaking. God came in the form of a man and he was speaking to himself. Okay, then he then he told Abraham that he was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Those two angels had, had, had gone ahead. Those two angels were the one who went to destroy Sodom and, and, and Gomorrah. But God was arguing with um with Abraham. In fact, Abraham was bargaining with, with God. He was bargaining with God. Like if there are 40 righteous people here, if there are 20 righteous people here, we used to destroy that city. And God said, If I see 20 righteous, if I see 10 righteous people, I will not destroy this city. Come on, guys, like who was that speaking was it a ghost come on guys it was god speaking it was god speaking so the whole confusion people are like god is the spirit and spirits cannot have gender come on guys those spirits that come and sleep with people in the night every every night incubus um succubus aren't these spirits aren't these spirits or what do you think about it even when the angels left the heavens the sons of god they left the heavens they took upon the form of a, of a man and they came and they had um they had relationship they had sexual intercourse with the ladies of the with the with the daughters of, of the of man what happened their offsprings were giants and god was so angry with that aren't angel spirits aren't angel spirits or oh, you want to say like angels are men right no come on guys we don't have to argue about god okay we don't have to argue about god or what god is it's none of our business but when we try to defend god because we know who god is we know our father we have a relationship with god please it's good to do your research and if you really worship god if you really serve god ask the holy spirit ask the holy spirit i've seen jesus christ he came in the form of a man he had this man form ask the holy spirit ask god this guy is insulting god or trying to make you feel like god is a woman and because you have lack of understanding, because you don't know a lot, you're like being sweet with it, and you're like, oh, God is a spirit. Like, come on, guys, we're all spirits, okay? When you die, you will still have the same form, okay? You will still have the same form. You will see your other self, and you will still be the same. If you're a man, you will still be a man. If you're a woman, you will still be a woman. Whether you go to hell or you go to heaven, because don't forget that when God will destroy this world, we will leave the heavens and we'll come back. Then he will finally destroy, he will throw all those in hell into the lake of fire don't get messed up with this gender stuff god is a spirit and we are also spirits but now we are living in the human form okay focus on your mission focus on what god sent you here to do communicate with him because he speaks to all his children in different ways but don't let the devil deceive you with all this god is a woman i came out because i knew that god is not a woman and i can't let him say that god is a woman and i keep quiet about it so that is it I'm, i think i'm done with this video i know i get a lot of hate and mixed feelings but really we are human beings we will not live here forever so no need for any hate or no need for any argument we have your we have we have the bible we have the torah we have every single thing take your time do your research communicate with him and he will tell you who he is and that's all
so see you guys in another video and shout to all those who believe me shout to all those who are spiritual who are able to believe in the bible because if god calls himself our father i don't think we should come up and argue with that so thank you guys for watching bye